Hey guys, this is going to be a video about these two Lifesaver, or Firenetics Lifesaver uh, 1255 smoke detectors. Now I've actually had these for a while, and I'm just now getting around to making a video of them. Um, I bought these either at the very end of last year, or the very beginning of this year. Um, and the reason why I have two of them is because I originally bought this one. And, uh, the reason why I bought, well, I bought this one and it, uh, it was advertised on eBay as, uh, just having the unit and not a bracket or a trim ring. So I thought, okay, I'll buy an, I'll buy, I can just buy another one and use its bracket and trim ring. Uh, so I bought this one and, uh, this one was from the same exact seller and it was advertised as having the bracket and trim ring. Um. So I bought that one, and before this one arrived, this one actually arrived first, um, and it was discovered that it actually did have a bracket and trim ring. So uh, then this one arrived after this one, and, uh, and then I had two complete ones. So I'm not complaining, though. I'm, I'm happy to have two complete ones. So anyway, the uh, 1255 model is uh, Firenetic's very first uh, hardwired with battery backup model. Um, and these came out in, uh, I want to say the the early to mid '80s. They came out in the eight in the early '80s, and they were made all the way to the mid '80s, probably around '85 or '86, maybe a little later than that. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know the uh, date, the timeline of these as well. But uh, these succeeded the 1200, which is this model, the original Firenetics hardwired model. Um, and these were from the 70s. Um, and there are some key differences. I'll get into those in a minute, but we'll go ahead and take a look. At, uh, this one right here I have powered up, and then this one I don't have powered. I actually took the battery out of it because it kept chirping, and that battery is brand new, but I will put a battery back in to test it, so I think there might be something wrong with it or something. I don't know, because it, it was working, I swear, like oh, last week when I had, had them both powered up. Uh, but yeah, so um, here is the front of it. As you can see, you got your alarm uh, or your power indicator LED right there, AC power, and your alarm LED there. That also indicate is also um, the battery indicator. Uh, doubles as the battery indicator when there's battery installed. The light will flash. So uh, two test buttons on the front in the middle. And... And on the back, you got your battery holder right there and the battery clip, uh, connector. And then there's the connection for the AC power. And then the label, this is the hinge for the mounting bracket. And the labels actually, for the most part, the warning labels are molded into the cover, or molded into the base, but then there's also the information tag is very small. Uh, yeah. And this one looks like it's dated 1987, so these apparently were made all the way up to 1987, at least. Um, issue number 19830. So, I haven't checked when this I haven't checked this one's date yet, actually. We'll check it later. But anyway, um, so, these are actually, these are, uh, the cover is removable if you remove those three screws right there just like on the 1200s. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now so you can see the inside. Alright, so here's the inside of it as you can see. It has the uh, the same innards as the second generation F900D, uh, which these were actually based on, other, at least the same sensor in the horn. The uh, piezo horn and the sensor, the, short, the spaceship shaped sensor with the smaller slots that are uh, vertical. So, the circuitry over here obviously has more circuitry to compensate for the AC power and the battery backup. Um, and then your test button is right here. It's actually a jumper that uh, touches a solder spot on the back of the PCB. So, yeah. There's no sensitivity adjustment, it looks like, on there. Yeah, there's no sensitivity adjust, so I guess they have it just 
programmed into the unit. The test buttons and the LEDs are attached to the cover. You could easily remove those if you needed to, if you needed to remove the cover any further. But I'm not going to, to risk breaking the wires. So, uh, yeah. Now I'm going to put the cover back on, and that will be that. Alright, so I've put the cover back on this one, and I've also put a battery in it, and I think I figured out why it kept chirping. Um, it might still chirp. It has not chirped since I put this battery in it, but I think... I know that these, when you put them in hush mode, they chirp to let you know they're in hush mode, but it's really, really annoying. Um, because it's just, it just they, they chirp, and sometimes... Uh, they chirp when you, or they go into hush mode when you first power them up. Some, are, some just do that. Um, so this one might be one of those. Um, but it doesn't seem to be chirping now. Um, so let's go ahead and test them. So I'm going to start with the one that's powered on AC power. Alright, and then we'll go to the one that's being powered on battery. Alright, so that one is a little bit higher pitched, as you can hear. Um, so, uh, they both sound in a 5.6, which uh, is a, exactly the same coding that all the second gen F900Ds that I've heard do. So, uh, yeah, I like these a lot. Uh, these are very nice models. I've actually wanted uh, these for a while since I saw uh, Endlin's old video. Um, and these are actually, uh, I originally thought that these were, I, uh, back when I, before I knew what this was, uh, when this was still installed in my grandma's house, I thought, uh, I'd seen Nathaniel's video of these, or of, yeah, of one of these, um, in his most wanted video, and, uh, I was like, hmm, that looks similar to the one that's in my grandma's house, but it's not exact, because I knew that hers didn't have buttons, so, uh, yeah. I just thought that was interesting, but I've never seen I, I've never seen one of these twelve fifty fives installed in person anywhere. I've only ever seen these twelve hundreds um, in, of course, in other places other than my grandma's house. Um, but yeah, so that's about it. So thank you for watching, and more to come. One last thing I wanted to do. Uh, was test these both at the same time um, and I went ahead and powered up the other one actually connected it to my 1200s bracket they are they are interchangeable um, but uh, I also uh, I spliced or I, I stripped the wire from this one's bracket I didn't want to strip the wire on this one this one's still like that um, connected them so now we're gonna test I'm gonna uh, push the button on this one and uh, we're going to listen to them both go off at the same time. So, as you can hear, this one sounds like it was going a little bit faster. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically everything. So, once again, thank you for watching, and more to come.